Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountain Ben here. As some of you guys may have saw on the stream Sunday night, I actually unlocked William F. Halsey Jr., the special American commander from the Hit Hard Hit Fast campaign. And I've gone ahead and I plopped him on my Iowa because my Iowa, um, I moved my original Iowa captain on over to Montana once I unlocked Montana. And I've just been slowly building, um, my Iowa captain up f from a three point um, captain to, I believe he's a 12 point captain now, but I mean, I had got William F. Halsey, he's a 15 point special commander, so I went ahead and slapped him on there, and I moved my, um, old Iowa captain on over to the Texas, now Texas has a 12 point captain that has an AA build on him, so that's a real, really sweet ship right now, but today we're going to be focusing on the Iowa and William F. Halsey here, so it's going to be kind of like the Yamamoto video, let me run you through the things that Halsey has. And he's really interesting what he has. I, I knew of a couple of his special traits before I started the campaign. But I never really looked into it too much. So anyway, so his talents first off. When you get a double strike ability, it de it decreases your ship's detectability range. So your detectability goes down by 10% both by sea and by air. So once I had the concealment skill on him, which is the next skill I'm going to get... He's going to be a really stealthy, stealthy, uh, I was going to be a really, really stealthy battleship if I get a double strike. And then he gets the hit hard talent, which is when you get the Confederate award, you speed up the reload of all the ship's armament and aircraft servicing, so the torpedo reload, reload time goes down by 10%. Main battery goes down by 20%, and aircraft service time for carriers goes down 20%. So, a Confederate is not that hard of an award to get. Especially in a ship with ac really accurate guns like Iowa. And I also have Adrenaline Rush too, so sure. I'm going to be able to get my reload down pretty fast. Of course you get the pennant, the shell tracers, which I don't use, and then the fireworks. And the fireworks uh, launch anytime time you activate an ability. So the build I'm using on him is um, my standard battleship build, except a priority target shouldn't be on there. Uh, preventive maintenance should be, so I'm going to switch that real quick. Because when I'm in a battleship, I just assume I'm being targeted by somebody because, you know, to enemy, to enemy um, uh, battleships and cruisers and destroyers. And, well, anything, you're just a damaged pinata. So I'm going to move that on over. So it should be preventive maintenance, MLG turrets, BFT, AFT, Adrenaline Rush, Superintendent, and then um, Consumment Expert. It's my standard American battleship build. And the module build I'm using on Iowa is I'm using main armaments mod 1, damage con 1, AA guns mod 2, damage con 2, concealment, and the artillery plotting room mod 2. And I was looking at the dispersion that this gives you, because it increases the main battery dispersion by 11%, which is 4% more than the um, other module that you can get the, um, was it the artillery plotting something or another? Um, no, I have it on the Vanguard. Yeah, aiming systems mod one because that gives you a negative seven percent to your dispersion of your main battery shells, but um, the special one that the Americans get gives you a negative eleven percent, which is a huge boost, and it actually gives you a dispersion, a maximum dispersion of two hundred sixty-one meters, which I looked at the Iowa, I mean the Montana, it's two hundred sixty-four, and I have the exact same build. Oh, except this is my Clan Wars build, so I have a uh, secondary battery mod 2 instead of uh, AA guns mod 2. And then... Okay, so that was 264, alright, so it's 3 meters more than the Iowa. But you also have another turret, so it's still pretty accurate. Then you go and look at the Yamato. And it's 276. Huh. So you have much, much better dispersion than the Yamato and the Montana, so you, uh, if I'm understanding that correctly, that's the best dispersion you can get in the game. So let's go ahead and take her out into battle. Oh, um, Halsey also gets an improved, um, what's it called, um, the skill that lets you switch between shell types, instead of getting 50%, you get negative 75% to reload time, and you also get an improved MLG turrets at a full percent, um, degree per second more boost um, to the rotation time so he's definitely um, kind of an all-around commander because I mean for battleships you get the improved um, 
the, the, the improved turret rotation time and the Confederate award skill, which reduces your reload by 20%. I mean, that's good for any ship, too. Um, but he's also got stuff in there for carriers as well with the uh, decreased service time of, of the aircraft. Oh, it's an actual tier 9 game, too. It's not a tier 10 game. That's surprising. I just love the way the Iowa looks. looks so, so nice. Looks like... I would go B C because it looks like that's where the two destroyers are going. Okay, uh, editing Mount Batten here. So, for the next, like, probably the rest of this match, there's going to be very little editing. I know this video probably is going to be like 30 minutes long. But this guy and this match just went super, super salt. Like, I mean, uh, he's got to be one of the saltiest guys I've seen on here in a very long time. It's been probably almost a year since I've seen someone rage this hard at an entire team. And it's <laughs> it's entertaining because it gets to a point to where the enemy team actually starts calling him out. So for the next, for most of this match, this, most of this match is going to be unedited is, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to put a time link into where the action kind of kicks off if you don't want to see too much of the salt. I mean... The, don't get me wrong, I have a, actually have a pretty good round for what happens to me in this match. Um, and this is a good match, that's why I'm, I want to leave it in, and plus for the plus the, the pure salt that's about to come from this one guy. So if you, I'm going to put in a time uh, stamp here after I get done editing it to where the action kind of kicks off if you want to see that. But if you want to enjoy the salt of this guy, just stick around, there's plenty of it. You first. <laughs> This will be interesting. I don't make the joke, uh, people act like they are the incarnation of Lord Nelson, and it's literally a guy and a Nelson trying to tell everyone what to do. Oh, that dispersion's so nice, even though they had Kazuki's gonna move. And now he's call, calling everyone retarded. Ah, uh, thought you'll ever early morning water warships. How do you order your fighter to go around and attack another plane? Buddy, you don't do that. That would have been nearly perfect if that was, um, that guy that was trying to have him want to do. All stations requesting fire on the designated this is lovely, everyone's calling everyone a retard. Oh, sorry Bismarck. All stations and sour fires are going to bust a UE. Should be a good hit. Yep. The enemy team has taken the lead. The ship is on fire. Penetration. 
know that guy's complaining in chat, but like, when you call your entire team a retard, don't be surprised when they don't help you. There we go. Oh, he's one of them people. Fighter returning to ship. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Why Miyoko? Oh! Our oh, orange Jesus just says no to me again. And this guy's just a load of salt. Thank you, Collier Reporter, for giving me just beautiful content for this. Ooh, 17k on the Massachusetts. Oh, he's probably about to spank the crap out of me. Yep. Wait for my heal to come back up. Although I do have a really sweet reload time now. <laughs> I've seen less than 65%. It's being a complete asshole. over that he's still being an asshole it's just not so complete I guess you have to go look it up Oh, Massachusetts, you shouldn't be sitting there so pretty. Oh, 
I should have let you more though. Oh my god, RN Jesus, why? This message is still going reverse. Why is he asking about 65%? <laughs> so, translation, it's not 65%. I just want to point out to this guy, I've gotten three of the six kills that we've gotten in this game, and most of them I did, well, two of them I did the majority of the damage to. Now I'm out of heals. Plus side, my reload is greatly fantastic right now. Greatly fantastic. That that's a new one. Twenty four second reload. That's what's up. Looks like we managed to cap at least one thing. Not oh, there we go. Uh, so let's see where Mr. Um, Salts himself was at on the team. Well, there I am at number one. And there's Mr. Collier Porter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, so he was halfway up the scoreboard. Granted, he was probably HE spamming at Nelson, though I can't say that for sure. But definitely not performing well enough to to um to justify that amount of salt. What's this guy's name? I normally do not do this, but I'm just really curious to see. He said he this was his first game in 15 that he's lost that he's lost to Nelson. Now I'm just really curious to see if he's actually that lucky. Although he probably hit his stats after that game. Oh, 
player. I should probably just come up when I put Kohler Porter. Oh, he's at 53%. Okay, that's not bad. 6,000 battles. I guess he was just in a real salty mood. So what's his best ship? Oh, I mo mainly play as destroyers. Okay. Mainly plays mid-ish tier. Doesn't play a lot of tier 10. That's surprising. I figure someone with 6,000 games would, uh, I think it's 216 batters at tier 216 batters at tier 10. Huh. So a lot of mid tier. I guess he just, he just doesn't have a premium count or something. Okay, so 53%. That's not bad. And just so. I'm not going to shy away from hiding my stats either. Just here are mine. 48%. As I've said, painfully average. But I mean, when someone get here, yeah, yeah, there she is, Gersiker first. Okay, back to the game. So I guess he was just in a really salty mood. Barla, if you're coming off of, off of a 15-game winning streak in Nelson, uh, losing a game isn't that bad. I mean, I've gone on 20-game losing streaks, and yeah, I'm a bit agitated, but I'm not calling out everyone in the game. Yes, carriers. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, Iowa and Monty aren't really great at sniping at range. I mean, they can, but since they are just 16-inch guns and their shells are rather slow, they don't have the Im impact that they do at mid-range, at long range. So... What's that, Sashio? My speed saved me there for most of those. Tag them again. He's being a sneaky little fella. So the cure is going over to spot him. Thank you. Looks like he's done. Oh my god, he has so little health though. Get him, yes. Like those fires are just on the edge of my AA cover. Looks like most of the team's bottled up at D. So now our team's moving in from A. To D, so it should be interesting from this point on out. I 
We have completely wrecked their destroyer population as well. This, this buffalo though. Do it, enemy carrier. Your planes will not come back. I think I can pin the Colorado's bells. Yup. Careful, Fiji. His guns are loaded. Well, if you want to. I'm sorry, Fiji. I'm gonna torp the crap out of him when he comes around the corner. Fiji, don't miss. Fiji is gonna miss. And I missed the Musashi. There go, the key got him. Why, why, is, why are they all just charging me? I have torpedoes, dude. You're welcome again, Key. F FDG, you want to be next? I was just like, I want some of this. <coughs> oh. That shot up, Musashi. Oh, Asashio, that's cutting it a bit close, my dude. about this being a necessarily a close game but my god this is a fun one the ship is on fire And 
now it's just the Musashi with almost no AA <laughs> against a lot of planes. Oh, look at those two AA guns. Oh, they shot something down. Oh, kudos to his AA crew for actually shooting something down. I think when he's all down, goes down, that's probably going to be it. Yep, there we go. Good game. Again, not really a close game. I mean, it was... It was I mean, they had the advantage there for a bit at the beginning. The destroyers had some really good placements in between the two caps. I looked number one in the team. I didn't, I didn't even sink anything that round. Shut down 13 planes. Um, Missouri shot down 19. And probably shot down 10, so yeah. And again, none of those planes really went over me either. They were just kind of on the edge of my A bubble. If they would have flown over me, I probably got a lot more than that. All right, guys, I'm Claude there. They had two very good games in Iowa uh, with Halsey and that uh, King of the Salt from the first game should make for some interesting uh, uh, footage. But again, yeah, Halsey, I didn't really get to show too much off on him. But, I mean, hmm, I know. I'll try to get some more footage of his skills in this week. So again, if you like the video, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to 1,500 subscribers, and we're, we are at 1,079 as of me uh, recording this. It's amazing that we've gotten that far in just over a week from us hitting 1,000 last week. So again, I can't thank you guys enough for that. And again, uh, make sure you share the channel and the video with your friends. We're trying to build this channel up. And make sure you um, the, the cutoff date for entering for the replay contest for the um, $20 worth of doubloons is um, in five days. So make sure you get your replays into the email link down below. So again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch all of you guys in the next one.